Hello and welcome back to part 53 the Dungeon Halbuck. I'm your host, Mefu. So in the last episode, we have freed the Usurper. We are trying to overthrow the throne and I don't know what else is going on actually apart from that. I think that's it. So before we get into anything, as you can see, I've respected my Ranger again for like the second or third time. I saw someone on the Steam forum say to try out this ability, First Blood. So what this does is it's a helpful strike that deals double damage on targets full health. So unfortunately, I had to respec up my stun. Um, the improves the Rage of Stun ability attack. It stuns the target has 4 HP. Because they just counteract each other. There's no point in having both. So I've respected the whole thing to try this out. I hope it's good. It sounds good. I mean, 200% more damage is really legit. That sounds amazing. Um, yeah, I don't think I've given it enough attention, so I'm going to give it a go. So one point in there. And then over here, I'll take the armor, because you have to take the armor. Then shields. Just amazing. Then I'm actually going to try the Ranger standard range attack. It deals double damage if the target is below 25% HP. Uh, I'm going to give it another go and see what it's like. If not, I'm going to put it into here. Uh, the Ranger gains one attack of opportunity per turn. He can now perform two per turn. So I'll see how often I use this. I don't think I'm going to use it often though. But double damage sounds pretty decent. Right, over to here. Take one point in there. Then obviously take the protection. Because magic resistance, physical resistance is amazing. At uh, mid to late game. Then over here, take the stun. Because, uh, yeah, I like stunning stuff. And I'm actually losing one stun now. <laughs> so, take the next point there. Over here, I'll take the 10 precision with a sword. And then I'll take the rage against 10 parry. To open up this uh, tree. And then I'll take the last uh, tier of uh, Lubit's Anticipation. So, I'll take that. Then here, I'll take, uh, if the ranger attacks, benefits from tortoise damage, I'll raise by 10%. Uh, destabilizing shot, which is obviously really good. And then I need to take the range against two strength. And I think the last point will probably be going team player. Gonna make that work more. If the ranger attacks benefit from support, its damage is raised by 20%. 20% is nothing to laugh out. Laugh out? <laughs> laugh at. <laughs> That's quite ironic, wasn't it? But yeah, so I'm gonna take that over the strength for now. And over here, um, I feel like most of the time I'm using this to actually try and reduce a dodge and parry rather than uh, do more damage. But I guess using this with this could be quite strong. That'd be that'd be 260% damage. Well, it ignores protection as well. Hmm, that's very tempting actually. It's very tempting. No, I'll, I'll stay with the dodge and parry. Because uh, I think yeah, debuffing them when I can is probably quite decent when the ranger's trying to run into battle. Over to here on the tributes. Uh, once again, I'm just going to raise the... Where did this come from, the temp position? I think it came from there. So I'm going to raise the uh, agility up to uh, make him so he does 81. So he's got 81 position now. And then I'm actually going to put some points into here. Into constitution and bring it up to 205 so he's more like the barbarian he can take more hits i notice the ranger when i send him in he t he tends to just take so much damage it's annoying i have to keep healing him like oh he's gonna die if i don't heal him but if he's got a bigger base pool he might be doing more damage and because i've got this to help like do more damage maybe that'll work out rest goes on strength he could do the damage definitely so uh yep yeah, that's the stats for the ranger let's try this out hopefully this works a bit better Try out this new first blood. Let's see what the Ranger of Slight Evil is like as well. We'll try it out again. <clears throat> so, off we are back to the throne room. Here you are, you miserable topsiders. I see through your lies. You want the anvil? You'll have it. We'll shatter your bones on it to celebrate my victory and my glorious reign. <laughs> By the gods, it's too late. Yeah, we obviously have placed our bets on the wrong horse. Maybe we could turn coats again? Yeah, doesn't sound likely. Should I take my dress off to turn it inside out? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, later. Kill the other dwarf, it's still something. Yes! <laughs> oh, he died. Oh. That's disappointing. What we got here then? We got a really, really strong guy. Lots of dwarves. They don't seem so strong apart from the golems. The golems are very scary. They do so much AoE damage. Right, so as usual. I'll go in the middle. 
Dwarf behind the ogre. Ranger here. And then everyone kind of to the side of him. I need to make sure that's going to buff the uh, wizardess as well. So I'm probably going to have to place uh, Oh. We're going to have to place her like that. And I'm hoping that's going to hit the elf there. One, two, one, two. Okay, it always goes two tiles along. One, two. Not sure the ranger's actually going to hit the um, priestess where she is. No, it should do actually. Dagny, one, two. Okay, let's try. Okay. So, he got insulted. Oh, right, he gets an extra turn. Be a promise. Nice. Don't do anything crazy. No, here we at the start, please. Wait till I move. <laughs> That'd be really nice. You just wait till I move. Okay, so as usual, buff up the ranger. Speed buff. I'll leave him where he is. God, that guy passed his turn so quickly, I almost bugged out. Right, buff everyone up with the priestess. Nice. End turn. Uh, Ogre delays turn. Almost misclicked there. Barbarian buffs everyone up with damage. Hooah! End turn. Delay the dwarf's turn. Yes. Approach me. Not like that. But normally it would be nice. God damn it. Really? I mean, at least they're doing that and I can move out the way of it. It's still really annoying though. <laughs> ah. It's not too bad. Right, so. With the Wizardess, I need to look for a nice stun. That is my goal right now. Because that's got low cooldown that, I'm probably just going to do that one and then that one afterwards. I always say this and I never do, but I'm going to do it this time. Not sure what I did there, but I didn't debuff me or do damage to me, so I'm actually quite happy that it didn't. I'm going to move the wizardess over here, behind cover. As you can see, I'm totally unfazed by the critical failures now. I kind of like accept them as part of the game. And my random meet has always been full. I barely ever use this anymore, actually. <laughs> Only when I'm really, really dying. So, Thief, I'm just going to move him slightly to the side as well. Or maybe slightly one back so the ranger can come here and get out of the way. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, first things first. I'll uh, make these guys miss. Right, so I'm just going to move him behind like that and pretend that didn't happen. I'm used to one critical failure per fight, not like a hundred. So hopefully that'll be the last two. <laughs> right, so. I'm going to try and root the golems. I don't think they're rootable though. So I'm not sure if this is even worth doing. Maybe I should just apply some damage into them. Uh, that one's pretty, pretty juicy. 96%. Don't critical failure, please. I don't know how hard I hit there, but it looks like... Oh, about 100 and something. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty strong. Right, so I place the elf over here. Hi there. That guy gets three turns as well? What is this? What do you say about my mum? <laughs> Damn insulting dwarves. Alright, at least this guy can get... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. didn't get three turns, which is nice. Right, Ogre's turn. I can throw something at them. I can throw a dwarf at them. I probably should. <laughs> um, I kind of have to, because otherwise I just miss my turn and don't do anything. Seems like a bit of a waste, though. No, I'm going to do it. 120% damage. Dwarf moves like a meter in front of him, but it's good damage. Oh, look at that damage. Oh. 
Okay, um, I'm actually kind of stuck here. I'm, just <laughs> I'm actually really stuck. What the hell? Uh, okay, I'll take a tackle opportunity, I guess, and then face the ogre with back towards the dwarf. Yeah. I think that's okay. The dwarf can't really do his combo now, though, which sucks. But... <laughs> do I send him into the fray? I don't think I should. I was going to, like, send him up to lock everyone down, but... These guys take so long to walk anyway, there's not much point in doing that. So what I'll do is I'll tin can. Or should I do some more damage, actually? Oh, my choice is endless. No, I'll do some damage. Here we go. Get him, dwarf. Ooh, do quite good damage as well. And a stun. Okay, keep him facing that way. Big boss is going to insult someone again. Okay. That guy gets an extra turn. Ah, <clears throat> oh, backstab. I wish I kept them facing the other way, actually. I don't know. Because if they moved here to smack me, they would get AoE down anyway. Yeah, that probably would have been a better play to bait them. Right, well, unfortunately, I don't get to try the first blood yet. But, but, <laughs> if I move here, I think I can try out the, um, the double damage thing. Does it say I do double damage now? No. Okay, so it's normally just 48 to 57. Let's see if this works. Okay, it works quite well, but how do I know they're on like 25% HP? There should be like a marker for that or something, or something to tell me. Right, anyone low? Fighting in the chaos dwarves mind. The gates no. aren't gonna believe it. Yeah, put the priestess on the side. Um Guess I might as well go for that slap. Kinda glad I brought a one damage ability on her. So I wasn't gonna have anything to do on turns like this. I guess I could have delayed her turn and waited for damage to be taken. Um yeah, I probably could have done that, to be fair. Well, I see we can down this. No? No, okay. I'm gonna put the ogre one here, like this. Just so they go for the dwarf first and then the ogre. Uh, this barely seems worth killing. <laughs> oh, not like that. Right, so Golem's gonna move. He can't move very far though. So he should be able to get a nice AoE on there. I'm just gonna move him there just in case. Right, your move, AI. Three turns. In your dreams. Partial parry. Another parry. I, I don't think I even tin canned him. He's just parrying everything. Right, I'm going to delay the door's turn again. Because I just don't want to be the first one to uh, run in and get um, absolutely destroyed. <laughs> it's not a good look on the dwarf. Okay, there goes the bombs. Sweet. It's kind of annoying, but it's still good. <laughs> right. Such a risky place to move her. But if I move her there, she can actually get some nice AoE. I'm going to do it. Because now I can hit stuff randomly. A lot of stuff randomly. Let's go for it. Critical hits. Uh, damage, look at that! Look at that! That's like sending Gandalf in, Jesus! She's not taking any prisoners! Right, so I'm gonna run over here. With the, I'm hoping I'm the thief. Yeah, I say I'm the thief, okay. <laughs> run over here, the thief. Oh, he's behind that silly cover again that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Hmm. Well, um, given my options, I think I'm just gonna try and poison the golem. Slash root. Aha, I think I got 
carried away. I mean to poison, but I actually stuck him, which is nice. Yes, kill the dwarf. Armor piercing. Did that debuff him? I think it might have done. I wish I could see um, what it does. It looks like it has, though, because his, uh, his protection is um, orange. Right, um... I can shoot anything, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> but what do I shoot? I wonder if I can hit that dwarf over there if I stand here. Oh, I don't trust the, the angles in this. I wonder if I can hit one of these instead. No, I'm actually going to try and start killing stuff. Killing stuff's always good. Look at that range. Oh, and he dodges it. it coming to you, my <laughs> uh, can't believe it. Mm, I can smell the proles swarming around me. So what's he going to do? Run in. Just almost kill and stun the wizardess. And this one's going to do the same. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Um. Why can't I move? Oh, I can, but there's a corpse there. Oh, no. That guy's body blocking with his dead body. What's that about? Right, so I'm going to ignore the uh, golems, I think. Because the dwarf doesn't do that much damage anyway. I guess I could probably... I want to leave that to the ranger so he can try and do his thingy on it. Oh, I can't do it anyway because their corpse is in the way. Hmm. This is this is annoying actually. Well, I'm gonna place him here. Move it, you're in my way. And then I think I'm just gonna probably do a knockdown. No, I'm gonna tin can actually. Okay, so another insult on that guy, so he's got three turns again, I think. I think that's how it works. Hmm. Random bomb. Okay, so... The Ranger. No targets to test the first blood out on. Uh, I can walk up and heal her, but she'll go down again straight away. So I might as well run over here. Get into the fray. Oh, that's a nice AOE for the golem, damn it. Get into the fray anyway. 58-62. So it does the same, exact same damage as uh, a melee attack would if they're not on 4 HP. Okay. Have I even cast this yet? Nothing like a nice coup. I actually don't know if I've actually put this on or not yet. <laughs> I think I must have. I must have put that on by now. Oh, actually, I actually don't remember. Okay, I'm just going to kill the golem. I can't imagine I would miss that, though. There's no way of telling I've got it on. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I'm actually going to delay the uh, priestess's turn so she can res the wizardess at the end. Oh, wait, I can't because otherwise she doesn't get a turn. Oh, no. Normally it'd be okay, but because of where she is. I can't move anywhere safe as well to res. I think the safest place is probably here. Probably there's the safest place because the golem can move there. Don't think it's going to reach her though. Oh nice. Every time I say it's not going to reach, it reaches. <laughs> and every time I say it's will we reach, it doesn't reach. <laughs> right. Um, lots of damage for him. So that's a nice AoE if he moves here. 
But, because this dwarf's blocking everything. Oh, if I move that there, the AoE is not so good for him. If he wants the AoE, that is. I think he will, though. Let's go for a normal hit. 87. Okay, Barbarian. Anything I can jump on here, that's nice. That's actually pretty decent. It puts him in a lot of harm's way though. And Wizardess's turn's coming up quite soon, so she can even like AoE that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't jump in like that just yet, because these guys are just going to have a field day with me. So I'm just going to walk up behind him. And go for a Yarg, I think. Try and down this column. Oh, he's low. Overwatch in front of me. I like that. My favourite play the computer makes, actually, Overwatch in front of me. <laughs> Always makes me, like, really happy. I don't know why. It's like, yes. <laughs> I can knock him down, or I can do other random stuff. Knock him down looks good. They're all looking at my wizardess really, like, kind of angrily. Like, they're going to kill her or something. Hmm. So I can't really move without taking a shot. I'll leave the dwarf there. Okay, that guy delayed his turn. That guy, that golem. This guy gets a turn, unfortunately. Are we? Don't know what happened there, but I'm not complaining. Okay, so... Given the situation I'm in, this should be a good AoE. I don't think there's anything better I can get. I'm taking it. And the Barbarian was there, then that would have kind of sucked. Oh, I can freeze him. I forgot about that. Okay, frozen. So he's dead. That's CC'd. So I just need to worry about this guy. And I can't run away because I'm not the priestess. Let's not try that. Let's not try that. Okay, music stopped. Feast turn. Hmm. These guys are scary. I don't want to get anywhere near them. What if I stand about here? <laughs> yeah. What? He was leaving the puddle. He was. He wasn't even in here. I even laughed at the dwarf uh, earlier that did it. I was just like, "Ha! He threw a." 10 damage bomb on me. Look what happened. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Free for one discount. That's what I like to do. Oh, and now that he's going to get beaten while he's on the ground. What a disgrace. <laughs> what a disgrace. 49 damage on that frozen. Damn. Lots of inserts going out. I feel kind of bad for them. I wish they would um, put in the voice lines of what he's saying to them. <laughs> I quite like the Dwarven inserts. They're quite funny. Remind me of being back at school. <laughs> right, I will get this off. Okay, first blood. <laughs> I'm actually going to go out of my way and get this. I want to see the damage. Okay, so it does 53 to 58. So technically, it should do 100 and something. 115. That's pretty high. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm in a really bad position now, but that's really good damage. Boom! Dodge that one. Hmm. Interesting, actually. Very interesting. I don't think he has any other abilities that could make that work, though. Not that you can use abilities with it, but you, you know what I mean. I wonder how much damage he would do if he was supported there. Or was he really supported? That's why he did damage. 
because the wizard is facing it. I don't know. Question for another day. Oh yeah, he's on the ground. Uh. All oh, right, I can see the buffs now. <laughs> I can't make can see the buffs now. Can I really see them? Right, I definitely didn't do the ranger buff. I can I can see it here. I haven't done the ranger buff. Okay. That's yeah. That's probably why this guy went down like that. So I think normally he would just ram through. But I'm gonna debuff the debuff dispel the knockdown. Hopefully no one knocks him down again. Well it's good to know anyway. I wonder if that's all the characters. Oh, now he's stunned. Oh, oh, I can't even do the um, defensive buff anyway now. Thirty six damage to the ogre. Insulted my dwarf. I don't think he realizes that my dwarf's the champion of insults right now. Right, um, I was gonna say this looks really juicy, but I realise that's my ranger. So it's actually not so juicy anymore. Uh, Golem needs to die though, so I'm actually gonna send the ogre to do all that. Are these guys still at range? Yes, they are. I've kind of, I really like fighting against dwarves just because, um, they just take ages to get to you. And, like, my kind of setup I've got with the priestess, I can just keep healing them up. So these really long attrition battles, they work in my favour massively. Oh, you're really low. I wonder if you're 25% below HP low. <laughs> I doubt it though. I'm going to go and uh, swat him. Ogre's, uh, Ogre? But Baron's so good at like one versus ones. Alright, now that guy can't escape. He's going to do that random kick thing. Here we. Random area of doom. Not too bad. It was way more devastating the first time I faced these guys. Now it's kind of a bit like, eh, my wizardess can do better. Yep, dwarf's turn. Mm, I can get on on the action. I didn't actually mean to make a, a pun there either. That just came out. But right, I'm going to walk this up here. I'm going to try and knock this back. Get out the wizardess's face. Get the face. Ooh. Ooh. I'm the best. The best. You are the best indeed. Wasn't expecting to hit it. Pretty beautiful. Very beautiful. Right, range is low. I wouldn't say the priestess probably got that. Wait, whose turn's next? Where's this guy? Oh, you're there. And you're there. Um. Ooh. This one's feisty. He's doing some random flank. Right, so I'm going to move that facing this away. And then I'm going to kill a bunny this just to uh, get it out of the fight. It's better than um, it's better than healing up the ranger to fall and then having that drop it back down again. Okay, this guy can go air everywhere. He's trying to get it so he's just out of range. But I can't. Right, I'm gonna go run the thief over here. Nothing like a nice underground battle. And then I'm gonna go for this nervous burst that never seems to work. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, so range is low. I could do stuff for the elf, obviously, but what stuff do I want to do? Help kill the golem would be cool, actually. Killing that guy would be cool as well, but I think the barbarian's got that. I'm gonna help kill the golem. Oh, nice, 94. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna move her up as well. Because the whole team's moving up now. Big boss gonna do his random taunt thing. Oh, no, he's running in. Crap. I am 
the king of these mines, the king. Only a casual 210 damage. And that's on the seismic slam, I think that does 80% of his weapon damage. So I'm guessing his maximum damage is probably around 230 or 240. It's pretty big actually. He's going to be quite scary. Hopefully I can kill this golem in time. And then he'll come in afterwards. Kind of like the waves thing I was talking about. They're coming waves. Right, so I need to heal that ranger. And I also need to be in range of that ranger to heal him. One, two, three. I should be able to heal him from there. But as I said, the weird line of sight in this game sometimes. No, that's good. Is it though? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Hopefully he doesn't die straight away. He's got enough HP as long as the big boss doesn't hit him. Nice. That's a lot of damage. Damn. I hate fighting in tunnels. Right. This should kill them. Or kill the golem, I mean. Damn it. Dodge. Damn. Crap. Could give the ogre another turn to finish off the golem. It's tempting. Yeah, I haven't used this in ages. I might as well. Unless there's going to be a big battle coming up. I'm going to immediately regret my decision. Yep. Alright, Ogre. Make me proud. <laughs> Don't miss now. Nice. Okay, got him down. Keep him facing that way. Okay. Such a waste for the barbarians to kill that. Where's the dwarf? One of the dwarf can run over here and get that for me, or the elf can. The elf can probably do that actually. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna jump on this guy facing that way. There we go. Oh yeah, I was going to try and get the uh, thing again. The hopeful strike. Hopeful. Um, I mean, I still could. I'm going to try and talk to this guy. <laughs> right, get the dwarf there. Was this turn? I can't move out. That's not too bad though, that's a good hit. I am going to take that. Oh my lord! Lord have mercy! That damage! Hmm. I always try and do this with a thief and it never seems to pay off. Right, Cali finish, you can do this. You can do this. I think my face went white. Feel it. Right, um, yeah, she doesn't have a thing up because she's wasted too much stamina. I really need to get her more stamina. Hmm. I'll take the 8 1. I can't believe the thief missed that again, though. Jeez. I'm going to put her just out of the range of the uh, two bad boys that do loads of damage. Oh, is this a hopeful strike situation? Or is this a, I need to use my tactical protection right at the end of the fight situation? <laughs> is there any point using it now? I can't believe I forgot to put that on. That's got so like, caught up in the first blood. No, I should probably put that on. Right, and face him forwards. Ready to get his ass kicked <clears throat> by a really strong dwarf. They're both quite low. 
And the priestess can move fairly far still. I wonder if I can move her there and get the heal on the ranger and the thingy. It's a shame that they're not in it as well. But I'm going to take that. That's good. Uh... Oh, I can't get the hope for strike anymore. Damn. Moving for gas. Yeah, moving for gas. I don't know if this guy. This guy's probably not standable though. It would be quite a shame if he was, considering he's supposed to be a boss, a proper boss. Critical hit. I've never seen that crit before. Okay, he is standable because he resisted. Okay, I'm gonna come up from behind. Not in a dodgy way. <laughs> and then unleash my steel barrage. Damn. Oh, this guy's still hopeful striking. Uh, strikeable. Uh, dwarf's turn. I mean, there's not much I can do with the dwarf, really. At this point, apart from the smack. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, this is nice, though. I actually quite like this Firebird's ability. It's really strong. Look at the range on that. Damn. It's really good. Oh yeah, Thief. I can run up straight behind him. Unfortunately, I didn't get the uh, burning status effect. Otherwise, I'll be doing 60% uh, more damage. So, yeah. I'm going to try and backstab this. Poison him. Oh, he's really resistant. Oh, he's like these guys that will probably die. The thief. I heal the thief. So kind. Leave it where she is. Yeah. Probably should have seen that coming. At least he's getting absolutely smacked now. He should not have moved there. This is quite funny to watch. <laughs> and of course the thief does 12 damage. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> That's actually quite funny to watch. They're so low, that guy. <laughs> what the hell? What happened? Just came in like a wrecking ball. I'm not going to start singing, don't worry. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Look how far he ran as well. Since when did dwarves run that far? I'm going to get you. 12 HP Ogre, I'm coming for you. 75, 80, 100. Oh, this hits 100% of the time. I might as well go for it. Not as hard as his hit for, but it still looked pretty damn cool. Okay, run the barb over here. 92. <coughs> He's like, sensing fresh meat. A <laughs> bloody trap. It's like the only time trap has gotten me that much. A trap has got me that much. <laughs> I can't really do much here. I'm just going to run the dwarf over. And uh, shoot my crossbow. My trusty crossbow. Yeah. 35. Right. So I've got a choice here. I can start going for healing, which I think I will. All oh, music's back. Um, Ogre probably needs it the most. Uh, I think this fight's definitely going to be a tavern kind of heal. Because everyone's really low. To be expected though from quite a hard boss fight. 
I'm scared to put the thief any anywhere near that guy. Poisoned and stuck. Nice. I'll put him here. Uh, yeah, I can't be bothered to walk her over, so I'm just going to take a long shot. Okay. Ranger's turn. Hmm, I can actually run quite close to him. Maybe I'll try and debuff him instead. Quite a low percent chance to miss, actually. I mean, you know what I mean. 67%, that's not a very high chance to hit. Parry, hmm. Okay, her turn. Who can I heal? Probably the thief. Stop him from dying. Or the barbarian because he's close in danger already. No, the thief. Definitely the thief. Um, should have moved the ranger, actually. I should have moved them from there. I'll put her here. And hopefully I can group heal these guys, maybe. If, the, if this guy survives a bit longer. I don't think he will, though. Come on, Yogg's got to kill him. Or getting ridiculously low, either one. <laughs> His HP. Really? Um... Yeah, I can pretty much do anything to him now. Ooh, victory! The priest is a massacre. Nice bad to me. Leveled up. The elf leveled up. The thief. Yes! Look at all that XP! Damn! Okay, gold coins. Uh, chest piece. Fluff. Chest piece. Belt. Mm, belt reduces movement, movement, so I don't think it's actually that good. Well, I'll leave everyone low. Hopefully it's not a second battle. You reign of madness is over, putrid swine, son of a syphilitic orc. Your body will be thrown to what? the Trogilorks. I'm the king now, the only king. Hooray! We've been rooting for you <laughs> since the beginning. So he just admitted to his grandmother being intimate with an orc. Carrying a venereal disease. Time to negotiate. What do you think I've been doing? I'm grateful to you. You've kept your word. So, can we talk about your word concerning our demands? Yes. Since the true way of the Chaos Dwarves has been preserved, I'll grant you access to the Temple of the Big Anvil. Ah, super. If its power annihilates you, it's not my problem, obviously. The temple can be unpredictable. <laughs> uh, you know... This sounds more like a curse than a blessing. Great negotiation. Every rose has its thorns. Alas, we didn't come this far to give up now. Let's go to the temple. Oh, he actually kept his word. For now. I'm a bit worried still. But yeah, we'll find out in part 54. That's the end of part 53. Hope you liked it. Subscribe. and I'll see you then. Take care.